Hey guys, Turtle here, and today I'm showing you guys the Mechanical Gravity Mod by Berduli, or however you pronounce that. In the beginning of this video, I will show off the features and even some creations I could think of with that mod, and then in the end of the video, if you click an annotation right here, you will get to the installation guide for the mod. So if you're only interested in the installation, just click it right now. Otherwise, enjoy the video. So, the mod adds three new blocks and one new item. So, there's the attractor block, which will attract any NPCs or also stuff like exploding TNT and all that stuff to yeah the block if it's activated with redstone. This block is crafted by putting the receipts in that order. Just stop the video here if you want to see it or go to the forum page to see it in detail. Now there's also a repulsor block which pretty much pushes, pushes everything away from the block like any hostile or friendly NPC it gets just pushed away in a certain radius and nothing can, can, can get close to it so it's really good for defensive stuff like if you're getting followed by, by a creeper or something you could just activate this in your house and yeah you will stay away from the house this one is crafted almost the same but yeah the iron ingots and redstone are placed differently now the last one is the graviter this one basically turns the gravity around so everything will go up in the air and slowly float up in a certain radius. It's just crafted like this with only one redstone on the bottom and yeah, pretty easy. If you don't want to be like attracted to that block or something, if it's activated, you need those gravitor, gravitary or gravity boots. <laughs> You simply craft them by using two attractors and putting iron ingots above them and yeah, that's basically it. You get the gravity boots out of it. And if you then don't want to get attracted by the attractor plug for example, you just put them in your hands and you're free to go. While if you put them away, you get attracted again. So now let's show off those blocks in action. So shall we begin with this one? Okay, so this is the repulsor block. It will push all the NPCs away as you can see right now. Oops. Yeah, great work on my part here because like I just pushed away all the NPCs which were supposed to show the other blocks. But I'll just get this out and get some new villagers later. So, the attractor block will just whoop, take all the villagers back into that one cave or at least try to attract them as good as possible to see the range. I'll just go far away and see when it begins to attract me. Right now I'm not attracted or anything, but if I get closer to that range I will get attracted unless I use this. I used the gravity boots. As you can see, it also took the squid out of the water. So yeah, it's a really powerful block. Let's deactivate it. Let's just make it day real quick so you guys can see better. And yeah, show the last block. This is the gravitor block or gravity block or whatever block. And if you activate this one, everything will begin to slowly float up into the air. And yeah, this is how it looks if you get attracted or yeah, put up in the air by it. And it will stop after a certain, certain radius, around like, I guess, three or four blocks, and you will start bouncing off and yeah, it might get dangerous, so let's turn this off. So, one of the things I thought of was a TNT cannon. This is just some pretty simple principle. It will, the lever will activate all those repulsor blocks which will later blow away the TNT and slightly after the TNT gets activated and falls down from up there. So let's get some TNT in here and try it out. So let's see. 
TNT gets activated and blown away by the repulsor blocks. And yeah, it did some damage. So that's quite cool. I also tried a smaller version, which is pretty fast to build. But yeah, you guys can figure out that on your own. Or let me just give you a short example how it works. We just need two attractor blocks, then put a wool or any other block down there, which doesn't get activated, then one redstone repeater. And if you activate this one, it will yeah, activate both of those. So this is basically the principle how all that works. Also, there are many ways you could use this for defensive mechanisms or even automatic stuff. So yeah, it's a really interesting mod. And I yeah, definitely recommend trying it out. And yeah, now the installation guide will come up in a second. Thanks for watching. So here we are on the installation part. So at first you want to go to the forum thread and then just click on the version 0.1 download link here. It will just download, wait a second, du -du -dum. the mine mechanical gravity one. 0.1 zip file. Then you need to click on this and download the mod loader by scrolling down up to here and then just download via AdFly if you want to support the person or direct download so you don't have any ads on the next page. So after that's done you should have those two files. To open them you ne definitely need to have WinRAR or 7-zip installed. So if you don't have that, just Google it and install it because you need that to open those archives. Now you want to click on your Minecraft and after it opens, you just click on the options thing and then you see the game location on disk. You just click on that and you should get to the right folder. Then click done and close the game. That's important. Or if you don't have, if you already have mods on your Minecraft, you should definitely go to Options, Force Update, Done and Login. So you get a fresh Minecraft.jar. This is really important because some other mods might crash this. But if you want to try with other mods installed, you can. But yeah, it's on your own risk and it might not work afterwards. You might get a black screen and then you need to do the Force Update thing again. So you don't, yeah so you can play again. I'm gonna just, yeah, let it load this and then close the game again. So I got a brand new Minecraft.char as you might know, because in the .minecraft folder, you just click on the bin folder, scroll down to the Minecraft.char, right click it, open with WinRAR or 7-zip. Now you are here. Now you want to delete the meta in folder. This is really important, otherwise it won't work. So do that first. Now you can open the mod loader, zip file, and yeah, just copy all the files from here into your minecraft.char. I'm gonna just do it per drag and drop and yeah, click OK, and you're done with that part. Now you just open the mechanical gravity 0.1 and yeah, do the same thing again. But you should do the mod loader first or yeah, it shouldn't be any problems if you do it in the different order, but there might be problems. So just do the mod loader first and you're on the sure side. Now you should be done. Also remember, you also gotta copy those configs and mechanical folders. So just copy everything in those zip files. It's really easy. And then just feel free to open your Minecraft and it should work perfectly with the mod installed. As you can see, I don't get a black screen. Yep. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.